In an agricultural county like Yuma, Arizona State Senator Brian Fernandez says heavy-duty trucks delivering goods are vital to the economy, but is worried about pollution caused by the gas-powered vehicles. Yuma County produces lettuce that goes throughout the world and, um, and other vegetables as well. And we need to ensure that we don't endanger that while also making sure that it's safer for our families. Yuma City Council member and neonatal nurse Carol Smith also eager to see a change in emission standards. Pollution from trucks and buses dirties our air, threatens our health, and can lead to an increased respiratory diseases like asthma. Smith says roughly 20,000 people in Yuma have asthma and 4,000 of them are children. The EPA has proposed new stricter emissions standards for heavy-duty trucks starting in 2027, and Fernandez hopes they're finalized soon. But a big part of it is going to be um, using different fuel standards um, and possibly different fuel sources uh, to ensure that, that eventually they become zero emission. Fernandez believes Yuma will be a leader in providing new fuel alternatives for trucks, including high hydrogen fuel. He says plans are being finalized to build a hydrogen plant just outside of city limits. Get one of the ideas that they had was to put hydrogen truck stations um, from San Diego to Phoenix and that way that the, the trucks that were you know moving in that area could use that hydrogen. The plant is expected to supply hydrogen for Arizona and Southern California. In Yuma, Alexandra Rangel, Arizona's family.